Warning, this channel is meant for viewers 21 plus and was created for educational and documentary purposes only. Beginner Buzz does not condone illegal activity and certainly does not sell anything, so don't even ask. Seriously. How's it going, everyone? We got a germination update for everyone, but this episode is full of uncertainty. Last week, four beans hit the dirt, and today, it's time to see how many came up. And we're guessing you saw the title, so you might already have a little idea. Alright guys, so this episode is going to feel a little different, a little more from the heart, maybe, than factual information, but ultimately this overall message contained in this video is going to apply to any grower. New, veteran, doesn't matter, one size fits all. Bad news is though, to crack into all this, we have to give you uh, some bad news. For those that watched last week's episode, we showed our germination method to the letter. Not only that, but we broke down each and every step to show exactly why and how we do it. Unfortunately for us, it seems like the universe had a little lesson to teach us about good old mother nature. Long story short, we got one. One out of the four double grape bred by Mephisto made it. Needless to say, after all the preparation, including making the soil, letting it brew, and our delicate process to plant our seeds, we were a little underwhelmed to say the least. All that said though, the name of this video, what is it called? Why it's okay to fail. You see, for us, we spent a little time learning about ourselves, and in the end, we found that no one likes to fuck up. Well, that all said and good and everything though, who here hasn't fucked up? Right? Every single one of us. It's human nature. You hear that a lot, but do you understand why? Because failing is exactly how we, as humans, learn. So, maybe it's not so much the fuck ups that we should be embarrassed by, and instead, the way we all typically view them, a negative. For quite a while now, we haven't been shitting on ourselves so bad every time we make a mistake. Instead, we look at it as the opportunity to learn. So, rather than be upset that we only got one out of four seeds to pop, we instead asked ourselves, why did only one out of four successfully pop? After all, they were Mephisto, so we knew the genetics were solid. Sure, they were a little older, between two and three years old, but in the end, a good seed should last, and blaming its age could cost us more in the long run. So, assuming that wasn't the case either, what could it be? Newts are super gentle, uh, we know this through trial and error, over several grows. Lights are way down, for us, we get strong growth and limited stretch right around 275 ppfd. So they're good. Mars Hydro heat mat is on, so we know the root zone temp is good enough, and there was a heater in the tent ensuring temps couldn't wander beneath 78 degrees Fahrenheit. Wind is super gentle, no cold or strong wind on the pots. Humidity domes are sealed, so they're set in that regard too. Temps in the tent, check. What the hell? Either way, we had a season that was starting, an audience to once again break our mistake to, and no real way to solve the problem of content. Or at least just having one plant to look at for 12 weeks. So with you guys in mind, here we are to explain the mistake and to remedy the issue of having just one plant. Well, we planted a few more. We didn't have any more of the double grape, but we did recently pick up a three pack of some peanut butter cookies autoflower seeds, which sounded pretty good, so we threw them in the dirt. And I shit you not guys, if we didn't have bad luck, we wouldn't have any at all. One of the seeds came cracked. You know what? On second thought though, fuck that mentality. We're learning. Our grows are looking better and so is the end product. 
things are going to start coming together. You guys watch. <laughs> Either way, we went to plant, and you know what happened? We found one of the old seeds. It had germinated, but the missus had a big problem. You see, I could see something small, white, and wiggling on the seed, specifically in the area of the protruding taproot. Shit. Get out the macro lens and extension tubes and sure shooting, we got bugs. Ew. Three years of growing, we haven't had issues with pests and now this. Out of nowhere, how did anything even get on the seed that fast? Was it in the dirt? Guys, we looked. Grabbed a few handfuls out of the brew tote, spread it out, ran the camera over it all, nothing. It ain't the dirt. Doesn't look like anything we know, like mites or even fungus gnat larvae. Similar, but not it. Then it dawned on us. We are currently suffering a little bit of a flea infestation when it comes to our pets. And guys, it's not like we're being negligible here. We've spent over $200 trying to treat the problem for the comfort of our pets. We're trying, but it looks like a flea may have found its way into our grow room. Just to see, we look it up and there it is, flea larvae, seriously. Well, we sprayed the tops of the soil with the Lost Coast plant therapy, planted our seeds, and watered with 50 milliliters of water to help bring some of that Lost Coast into the root zone. Either way, we're set to rock. And don't forget, we gotta get rid of this mindset that failures are bad things. They're just simply a vessel in which a lesson presents itself. So, we look at failure in terms of what happened rather than negatively, and then we can gain a better understanding of how things work. Simple. Rinse, wash, repeat. Plants will keep looking better and can't wait to show you guys how this round of germination came out. Even though one of the seeds were cracked, we were happy to report at least better results. Another indication that we're creeping closer to what we're after. We'll be back next week to show how many came up, but until then, keep learning, keep growing. Catch, Catch you later, later guys. guys.